I've been hearing this um, story of Jeremiah and Ruth. So I decided to do a research to do more digging on the issue to know what, what actually is the cause of this issue. So I stumbled on a video that got me shocked that I decided to bring to the notice of everyone. I saw a conversation between Ruth and Prof. S. She was telling Prof. S that Prof. Jeremiah sent soldiers to her village to terrorize her village. That she is so scared that her parents, they could not even sleep. Like, it got me thinking, how can a man of God do such a thing? Just watch the video. So your father is receiving threats from soldiers? Yes, sir. And these soldiers are telling your father to talk to you? To talk to me. To talk to you about what? What to talk to talk to you? that video i was also shocked like how can a man of god do such a thing until i came across this same video when the father was being interviewed as they asked the father is it true that prophet jeremiah sent um, soldiers to your village to terrorize you people and his response was like that never happened it was even her daughter that's the root that called him and told him that they said soldiers are coming if you think I'm lying, watch the video as well. Just follow me, I'll give for the full gist. Uh, anytime any army people called you to threaten you on phone, if uh, uh, you shouldn't bother looking for your grandchild, no, I had that to for that. He is not from Nigeria. He's not related to the baby at all. It should have been the woman, uh, the child's family, that Jeremiah should be thinking of settling so that they can drop the case if you take a close look at that woman when um the the case just started this woman was so thin and dark you need to see her now she's not chubby and so fair like i mean when i'm talking about fair i mean she's not white a woman that is going through depression a woman that claims her child is missing and she has not seen her child not just not, not a grown-up child a baby for that matter She's getting fatter and fatter and fresher by day. It should have been the woman that Prophet Jeremiah should be thinking of settling, not Prophet S. He has been sincere here. Please, 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 let's do things that are right. Let's support our own. It is very obvious and also crystal clear that this man called Prophet S is in for men of God. He's always attacking those that are serving God. He's always coming for those Christians. That's what he does. He can never speak against those Fulanians men. He can never speak against those kidnappers. 
But all you see in his page are pastors and churches that he keep blackmailing, talking about them, suing them. He's coming for churches. He's coming to, 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 to do all manner of rubbish. And we Nigerians, we are supporting him. If you go to his page, it's Nigerians that are commenting that, that are commenting, ah, well done, sir. May the Lord, may the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord guide you. Ah, ah. It's not even in Nigeria. Why can't we support our own? Why can't we support on our own? Our own. With all the evidence that you people have seen that Prophet Jeremiah is innocent, still yet Nigeria is still supporting that evil man, Prof. S. Is it not obvious that that man is a Saba, Saba criminal? Okay, who sent the money to you? How was the money given to you? Was it in pounds, dollars, or naira? There should be a conversation between between you and anybody that gave you the money. You cannot just bring money online and start telling us blah 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 that, that the man of God was the one that gave you the money that, that gave you the money. It's not done. This is very very clear. It's very very clear that that man is 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 out there to bring down the man of God, which is not going to happen. Told him that they said soldiers are coming. If you think I'm lying, watch the video as well. Just follow me. I'll give for the full gist. Anytime any I mean people called you to threaten you on phone, if uh, uh, you shouldn't bother looking for your grandchild, no, I had that in the phone, but I'm not okay. They told you who told you that they said they will come, that they will come and give you something. Well, who told me that they are looking for me? Hey, if you did not say I went to the prophet, the mask up and he said I should get out. Came and ordered them out. Before I know, if you might have called me, you ordered me out. That's the prophet. Yes. He said, Take her out from this company. He won't destroy my ministry. Okay, they interview everybody, the neighbors, they interview the children. They said that there was nothing like that. So, what's now all year again? Hey, brother, I'm missing. Did you see your Jeremiah eyeball to eyeball? Did you, in honesty, did you see Jeremiah after us? No, I don't see. Did you go to meet Jeremiah? No. Did, did, after the your your brother got missing, did you go back to Jeremiah? No. Did you ever see Jeremiah eyeball to eyeball? No. Did Jeremiah walk your mom and mommy out? No. There's no need of lying anymore. When you were looking for baby testimony, did you people go to Jeremiah in the car? No. Did Jeremiah say to you face to face, get out of the house? No. Are you sure? Remember on Brekete, Ruth said Prophet Jeremiah came and ordered them out. Before I know, Jeremiah called me, he ordered me out. That the prophet? Yes. He said, take her out from this company. He won't destroy my ministry. Are you hearing this? Are you, are you hearing this? Okay, even this man of God, even after time, because if it's me, I will not have time to be talking about all these stuff online. I don't even care. Because I know I did not do it, like all those kind of things. Because he's a good man, he has a good heart. He wants to just come clean. And you are just bring this stuff, bring this stuff, bring this stuff. Even the prophet, the prophet that is even talking there, he's not a Christian. You will know. Nigerians now know. Say this man not be Christian. What is it, please, guys? What is it? Please, people should just focus on something else and stop all these lies and all this stuff. The man of God is trying. I beg people should leave him and let him be. I beg. This is your money that they keep robbing you in the name of tithes, seeds. And at home, you don't have never touched this amount of money. How much is this in Naira? Five million? You've never had this amount of money. But they're throwing it around like that. To cover up their evil deeds. And again, if actually Prophet Jeremiah Motufufi paid that guy, Prof. S, like he claimed, because he said that Prophet Jeremiah gave him money so that he can drop the case. If actually Prophet Jeremiah paid him the money, he's not the father of the child. He's not related to the child in any way. He's not from Nigeria. He's not related to the baby at all. It should have been the woman, that the child's family, that Jeremiah should be thinking of settling so that they can drop the case. If you take a close look at that woman, when um, the, the case just started, this woman was so thin and dark. You need to see her now. She's not chubby and so fair. Like, I 